On today's episode of Moto Cheese. What is up today, guys? Today I'm going to take a look at a 12 volt compressor style refrigerator freezer unit. It's very efficient, way more efficient than a Peltier Junction. There's a big difference between a compressor style refrigerator and a Peltier Junction style refrigerator. Basically, a Peltier Junction cannot pull the temperatures down cool enough or fast enough to be a good refrigerator in a hot environment, and it cannot be a freezer. Where a compressor, being more complex, with more parts and more maintenance can achieve that but of course it's more money I've owned several Peltier Junction refrigerators and I can tell you a compressor refrigerator is much better so let's get back to the refrigerator it came in this box which says this side up but it was packaged in that box that didn't say this side up so you know what that means you gotta let it sit for a couple hours so all the Freon drains back down and doesn't do a hydraulic lock actually quite big it does have a drain I didn't know if it had a drain because it didn't say it if it had a drain which is nice it's got a lot of room back in here looks like it's got a pretty good seal I can see the indent all the way around of this groove so that's a good thing pretty good tight latch comes in a handle which is nice it also came with a 110 volt adapter and a nice long 12 volt adapter and a manual well when he got it out of the truck it was definitely laying on its side I definitely saw that see you in a couple hours a few moments later set the low limit which it's way in the back of the truck and it's got a super long 12 volt cord which is nice but it definitely pulls the voltage down economy and max so I'm gonna keep it on max just to see how long it takes to draw it down to zero so it is running it's, it says 30 degrees Celsius is the temperature inside here just took a couple minutes and then the compressor finally started so maybe it has some type of protection but the compressor is running now LG compressor supposedly Fifty-four, so figure five o'clock. It's at thirty degrees Celsius. Soon after. All right, it's been like literally fifteen minutes, and it pulled it down to two degrees Celsius. Oh wow, it is. I'm on, I'm on max too, so I guess I should put it back. Wow, that was fast. That's impressive. The next day. Well, let's see if the battery's dead. We're down to 12 volts. It's holding its one degree Celsius. Is what I set it at. Let's see how cold my drinks are. That lid's nice and tight. Ooh. Oh yeah. Nice and cold. The next day. Day two. Not bad. That was from about 5 o'clock until now, which is 9 a.m. in the next day. Oh, yeah. Nice and cold. The next day. All right, so last night at 9, so it's 11.30. So it's been about 10 hours. So it was 10.6 while it's running, and it's 11.9 volts that it's off now. The next day. All right, it's been 24 hours in a hot car, 90 degrees today. 11.6. Must have just shut off. Yeah. 
Now it comes with the sensor at high, the automatic shutoff battery saver. I have to set it to low because it's so far back. There's a low, medium, and high. I'm going to set mine on low because when it kicks on, I have a little more than a voltage drop from the battery through the car circuitry, through the long cord that they give you. Four to six days later. So I got my compressor style cooler or refrigerator stocked full. I put waters underneath that little shelf that comes through here. There's an area under there. It's been in my Jeep for about two and a half weeks. I keep it here. I keep it plugged in and it's been holding pretty good. I went off roading with it. Got some pretty good angles. The compressor never hydraulic locked or shut off. The angles it claims must be pretty accurate. I think it's a pretty good little unit for the price. If it holds up, it's absolutely a great deal. I did put the insurance on it through eBay. If anything happens, I'll definitely let you guys know. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoShees.com. Thanks for watching.